Thank you very much, Margaret. I'm very happy to be here um, today to speak uh, to this uh, group because running for um, official is very dear to my heart. I, when I tell new candidates who wants to run is, why are you here? Why do you want to uh, run? You have to be really passionate. Um, is there something that wasn't really happy at the school board trustee? Was there really something that you weren't happy at, at the city? Um, find a passion that you're interested in. I think that our two other folks who are up here, um, I started out born and raised here in the US. My father was born in mainland China. My mother came uh, from Hong Kong. And I was raised in, in East San Jose. It's a very um, half Anglo, half uh, Latino, and nobody looked like me. And I thought that was really uh, strange. It wasn't until I went to uh, Oakland Chinatown every Friday to do our grocery shopping and I noticed that I was the only Asian American kid. And I, w I wanted to bring people uh, together. I noticed that I was different, but it wasn't until I went to Los Gatos High School that I saw half the people um, on, on two hands, they were, they were all um, Chinese Americans and Japanese uh, American. I think until I moved to Cupertino, Dr. Michael Chang asked me to um, seek a position on the planning commission. When I went onto the um, planning commission, um, I think that, that our community was predominantly uh, Anglo and there was a large uh, Chinese American population and I felt that I was a really good bridge to bring people uh, together. When I was ready um, to run, I did it a little bit differently because there was a lot of Asian Americans, especially Chinese Americans who were running and I knew that I had to find uh, a diverse group of people to run. I purposely joined the um, school site council and um, became the president of that school site council. I also joined the local Rotary Club to get to know the community a lot uh, better. And also as president-elect of the uh, Cupertino Chamber of Commerce. When folks came to my campaign and saw me run, they noticed something different about me versus the other candidates. When they went to see a Chinese candidate, there was a lot of Chinese Americans. When they went to an Anglo candidate, there was a lot of uh, Caucasians. But when they came to me, I made it purposely to grab people from um, labor to business community. I made a purpose of grabbing a lot of Caucasians, Indians, uh, Chinese Americans, and have a very diverse uh, campaign. I think that uh, Mayor Lily May was very correct is that, should I have a uh, consultant or should I not? And it really depends on your um, volunteer group. If you don't have a mentor, I really encourage you to have a mentor and you can talk with that small little kitchen cabinet that you have is that, do you want to um, hire somebody or do you think you can do it within your grassroots uh, community? I think what I learned the most about being a planning commissioner is that it's very important to listen. Uh, instead of voicing your concerns or your values, it's really important to listen to different viewpoints and it's not really about compromise, but it's probably how to bring people together because you shouldn't go against your values, but maybe see if there's something different that out of the 10 points, maybe there's like one or two points and then include them in and then make it a win-win situation. It's not 100%, but it's maybe 80%. And the other thing is that the hardest thing is not getting, um, I mean, the hardest thing is, is not serving, the hardest thing is getting uh, elected. I mean, excuse me, the easiest thing is getting elected for me, the hardest thing is serving. And why I say that is that when you're on the commission or on the city council or on the school board, it's about bringing the majority together. Being on the campaign trail is listening to your voters and trying to attract them on why you're the best candidate. And usually when I go door to door and I knock on that door, I usually say, what do you think about our city? What do you think about our school board or our college board? Which is even challenging because school's not the first thing on their mind, but a lot of voters just want to hear you to listen to them. They get a voice and say, hey, aren't you the mayor? And it's like, yeah, 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 but I want to hear what you have to say to me. And I think that human touch of recognizing your name, having you at the door, I think is really important. Uh, very briefly about fundraising, how do you ask people for money? And being Asian American, we don't like to ask for money. But that's the hard thing is that without having a budget, figure out what your budget is and just start with the lists, you know, start with $50, $100, or have a list of your family names like your father, your mother, your brother, your sister, and just go down to your business associates, high school friends, college friends, etc., and put a dollar amount. Maybe grandma can be 500, your parents could be 250, your cheap friend can be $10, it all adds up. Um, and the most important thing I'll, I'll leave on this note is 
you got to have fun during the campaign. One person said, you know, you can use social media. I'm an old timer. I don't like social media. But the most important thing is don't read all into the rhetoric. If you keep reading nextdoor.com, WeChat, then you're not developing talking to your voters. You're not talking to the people who can campaign to you. Don't get into the weeds and always stay positive. It's very important that you have fun while you campaign. And um, I'll stop there and um, go to the next person because I can go on and on.